Adjusterpedia.com. Hey guys, it's Mark from Adjusterpedia.com. Today I want to show you how to send an ESX file via data transfer, and that way you can either email it or put it on a thumb drive and deliver it by hand or however you want to do it. But the first thing we need to do is go in and uh, show how to extract that from Xactimate the easiest possible way. And then, uh, then we'll follow up with that and show exactly how to send it via email. I'm going to show you how to import and export an ESX file the easy way and the lightning fast way. So the first way is the easy, more traditional way. What you're going to see most people do is hit this data transfer button up here. They're going to go down here to send. This is the export. And then we're going to, I'm just going to set it on the desktop so it'll land over here. And so this is exporting the ESX file. Now I'm going to type in here just to find the one I want. Let's say sample. Need to drop this down to show all. And there we have it. So all we have to do is highlight that. Hit the send button. And we can close out of this. You can save the log if you're a logo file. And then uh, there you go. It's there. That's simple. Now the next thing we'll do is we will import it. So what I'll do is delete this one. And we'll use reverse the process. We'll do data transfer. We will retrieve it. In this case, we're going to retrieve it from the desktop. Quite simple. We'll select the item. There's only one on the desktop, so we select that one. And we retrieve it. Success. There you go. And here it is right back in there. Now, that was the easy way. Now let's find out the lightning fast way. I'm going to delete that one. Now, here's how quick this is. Left click, drag. Done. All right. Pretty simple, huh? We'll try it again. Now to import, left click, drag, and we're done. It's just that simple. Okay, so now we have this here and we want to send it via email. So all I'm going to do is just go into my Gmail account here, hit the compose, fill in at random who, and I can just take and left click and drag this into place. And boom, it's just that quick. That's all there is to it. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like it for me and subscribe to our channel to see more Xactimate tutorials. Leave a comment or drop me an email if you want to request a special topic related to adjusting or Xactimate. You can check out adjusterpedia.com if you want detailed information on how to get started as an adjuster.